Hey, what's up everyone? BHQ Pro Aaron Lasseur coming to you from the California Delta with his fishing report on June 26th. Now I haven't been out here for about three weeks, wanted to come out, do a little fun fishing, see what's going on on the Delta, to see if I could put a, good, a couple good ones in the boat. And now we had those, that front just roll through, so today is post frontal conditions and we're post spawn. So the bite was a little bit tough for me today. I got here this morning, air temps were about 63, water temps were probably right around the, you know, the low 70s. And now we're here in the mid afternoon, it's about mid 80s, got a little bit of a breeze blowing and the water temps went up about five to seven degrees. Now visibility, depending on where you go, is anywhere from two to eight feet. You know, some, some areas like here in Disappointment Slough, you can only see a couple feet, but when you go back into the, some of the dead end sloughs, it was crystal clear back there. So depending on what you want to fish and how you want to fish, your water clarity is going to change at, on different parts of the delta. So today, like I said, I came out, I just wanted to throw some reaction baits and some top water. Didn't bring the slow stuff. Let me show you some of the stuff that I did bring uh, for the post-spawn situations where these females are coming off the beds, off the spawning flats, and getting into some of that deeper water. So I was searching on the outsides of some of those spawning flats in six to eight feet of water, throwing a Domeki DC 200. And it's, this is, happens to be the Delta Craw. It's Piz Customs matte finish color. I throw it on a 704 CB by Dobbins Rods. And then when I needed to go up a little more shallow to see if some of these fish were still kind of up on the beds or around the spawning flats, um, I threw the DC 100 by Domeki. Another Delta Craw pattern, only goes about two to four feet. And then lastly, if I wanted to cover water really fast and there was a little bit of weed beds or enough water to throw the Domeki Lipless, it's the Tremor 65 in a craw pattern. Now I have everything in red out here because you know the bass out here on the Delta love those craw dads. I figure some of these females are trying to feed up after the spawn and are looking for some of those big meals. So I also tried to come out here and throw, do a little frog fishing. I didn't know if the frog bite was on yet. So I came out here with uh, River to Seas new that's the bully wall, that's the poppin' frog. That's their, their new poppin' frog that's being debuted at ICAST. I got a couple of those I was trying out today. I didn't get bit on it. I actually had about maybe 15 bites today. Most of them were dinks. I only had one really good keeper that was probably three and a half pounds, and that came on my Delta staple here for top water, and that's the River to Sea Whopper Plopper in Piss Customs Bone. I throw the Whopper Plopper on the 735C, and I basically just kind of threw it in the same areas I was throwing the crankbaits, just around the spawning flats, uh, hydrilla weed beds with whole big holes in it to try to see if I could get some fish looking up and come up and hit it. Now I throw the frog on the 736C by Dobbins. So we've got some triple digit weather coming in this weekend, which hopefully means that the topwater bite's gonna heat up. I'm gonna try to get back out on Friday to see if I can get those some frog fish and maybe some more whopper plopper fish and kind of figure out where these fish are, are positioning themselves now that the spawn is pretty much over. So you're never gonna have a bad time when you come out to the Delta. There's a lot of fish to be caught out here if you can figure it out. So until next time, stay focused, fish hard, and I'll see you out on the water.